sure I'm looking good. You're everything a big bad wolf could want. Hey, baby. Little red riding hood. Get out of there. Oh, Jennifer, I don't think oh, little Sherman. big girl should. Go walking in these spooky old woods alone. Oh, 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 down. Down, what like, big hey, eyes hey, you hey. have? <laughs> the kind of eyes that travels oh, man. Oh, so oh, just oh, to see oh, that oh, you oh, don't oh, get oh, chased, oh, oh, I hang oh, on to oh, walk oh, with you for a week. What for lips oh, you oh, have? They should have looked somewhere. her big cucumber. Honey, you know I don't serve poison in this house, but I've got a great new recipe. Seaweed spinach quiche with cultured yak butter. You are gonna love it. Yeah, honey, uh, I can't make it tonight to dinner, honey. Gotta run, sweets. Bye. What? No, wait. Howard, Howard, I have a... I make... Oh, Mom, don't feel bad. You know he loves you. Yeah, I know. Just thought I was gonna make this great... Recipe that I found in. Oh Where are you going? I'm meeting Stacy at the Horror and Science Fiction Convention. Tonight? Yep. Well, what about my seaweed quiche? I'm sorry, Mom. I gotta go. We'll just say out too late. Okay. Marbo! Get out of there! Come on, Marbo! Just you and me again, huh, big fella? Oh, this is what the people want to see. Uh, Excuse me for interrupting, but we have another call on hold. You love me, don't you? Hello, you're on the air. Hello? What do you want to watch today, huh? Huh? Congratulations, Ain't this show. You are there with the eight fearless international astronaut. <laughs> Galaxy, now I've seen that movie 356 times. Oh, wow, this is great. Yeah. Oh, Cinemagic. I have all of these. Famous monsters. Number 12, January 1965. Totally radical. <sighs> Jennifer? Uh, can I borrow $175? No. But, Jennifer, it's a number 12. A number 12, Jennifer, do you realize how rare that is? No. <sighs> wow! Look at this! An original replica of Claude Rains' costume in The Invisible Man. I have never met anyone who lives and breathes monsters the way you do. That's all I live for, monsters and Ralph. Mm, same thing. <sighs> Bloody orgy and the sheep devils. This is great. Oh, Madam Gypsy. Oh, let's get our fortune told, Jennifer. I am not going to pay a penny to hear some old lady tell me I'm going on a long sea cruise with a tall, dark stranger. I'll pay. Great. Jennifer, come oh, on. OK, 
Okay. We'd like to get our... Tell me nothing. I see everything. Oh, wow. This is just like a scene from Bloody Gypsies of Yucca Flats. Hmm. I didn't see that. I thought you see everything. Ten dollars, please. In at once. Where's my purse? Asked the psychic. I answer nothing till I get paid. Jennifer. Where's her purse? I am sitting on it. <laughs> please, please, sit. Sit, 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 sit. Make yourself comfortable. Very nice. Yeah. Now. Dumbala. Why do you have two of them? I like a second opinion. Kivunada. Zarun me to van. You, you have a dog? You have a dog? Ten bucks to find that out? Oh, I, I see you in conflict with an animal. No, no, wait. I see two animals. Whatever happened to you meet a tall, dark stranger? Someone very close to you, Will. Ralphie! Oh, oh, I see the sign of the pantogram on your face! Uh, I think that's just a zit. Beware! You will struggle with, a, with an unholy force over the next few days. Well, at least she got something right. You invited Ralph to my Halloween party. Foolish child. Take my card. You'll be needing it. Twenty dollars, please. In at once. You are going on a long sea cruise with a tall, dark stranger. Dumbala, Kivunada, Zarun Mituvan, Ivan Stan. It's people like you who keep these charlatans in business. Oh, come on, Jennifer. It's all part of the show. Right. And you owe me ten bucks. Wow! Look at this! Dr. Fangbite and the Virgin from Hell! Jennifer? I'm leaving. Jennifer! You promised you'd stay till at least halfway through. And now an update on the recent series of ferocious dog attacks. A young woman was assaulted and bitten by what she claims was a cross between a Rottweiler and local councilman Lou Lamont. Lamont was not available for questioning. The woman is under psychiatric observation, <laughs> claiming Mr. Lamont is really a wolf. Hi, hon. Hi, sweetheart. Sorry, I'm late for dinner. It's okay, I saved you some. Huh? It's the recipe I told you about on the phone today. It's really good for you. Seaweed spinach quiche with cultured yak butter. It's delicious. Oh. Looks good. Had to work late again, huh? Oh, yeah. You know, we're gearing up for the annual pre-Christmas sale. Hmm. I feel like I never see you anymore, honey. Why don't we do something this weekend? Like what? I don't know. Take a trip, go to the park, something. Howard, I feel like we're losing the excitement in our lives. You know what I mean? Howard? I bet you didn't know that 
Lon Chaney Jr. was the only actor to play all the monsters. Frankenstein, Dracula, the Wolfman, and the Mummy. <laughs> oh! Guess how many times Bella Lugosi played Dracula? Who cares? Uh, come on, knock it off and watch the game, will you? Howard. Howard? Oh, thanks, honey. Thanks, honey? Thanks, honey? Yeah! She bores your father. I read in Cosmopolitan that 50% of all divorces happen because of neglect. Or maybe it was adultery. Don't they kind of go hand in hand? Or whatever in whatever. <laughs> you know, I think you worry too much. I just don't want to be the product of a broken home. Jeez, I would love it. <sighs> I could use my dad's closet to store my body parts collection in. Your parents are hardly ever home anyway. You're going to be the life of the party tomorrow. You want to help me do a good deed? No. I can do for you. I need a collar. A flea collar. My, my dog needs a flea collar. He has fleas. My dog. Anything else? I don't think so. Compliments of the house. Thank you.
For you, I wouldn't be able to buy myself lunch. No, I insist on treating you, Mr. Uh... For open. <laughs> Harry, for open. Leslie Shaver. You know, you have the most unusual eyes. Really? Bottle of Mouton Roth Child 66 for the lady and myself. Oh, I'll pay. Oh, perfectly insist. And two orders of steak tartare. No, I, I'm a vegetarian. Pity. I'll have the pasta salad and the crepes desserts for dessert, please. Do you want that? No, 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 no. I dislike silver. It spoils the taste. I want to relish the substances I put between my teeth. So what makes you think she'll be there? It's lunchtime. She always eats there when she shops on weekends. Well, what makes you think she'll believe that your dad got her the flowers? Because she'll want to believe it. Boy, women sure get dumb when they get married. Jeez, look at this. Another woman was attacked by a wild animal last night. How horrible. Talk about close to home. It was right on your street. Police think it was some sort of coyote or wild dog. Want to know what I think? No. Oh, my God, it's too late. Come on. I mean, I really shouldn't complain because it's not the worst, you know? He's silly. He's probably just an old friend. I know all her friends. So it's a new friend. <laughs> but you know what really gets my goat? It's the weekend. And does he want to spend time with me? Ah, he invites his drinking buddies over to watch the game. I swear sometimes I could just tear that man apart. Look at that. He's kissing her hand. I've never even seen my dad hold it. We gotta get closer. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go on about my toes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't ever apologize about your true feelings. Can you believe that? That disgusting pervert is licking my mother's hand. Kind of cute. Maybe he's a foreigner. If I were married to someone as wonderful and as sensitive as you, I wouldn't want to spend a minute without you. Oh, it's too throat. Harry. Harry. You radiate love and compassion. I just want to crawl up inside of you and die. There's a pleasant thought. How about a toast? Yeah. To eternal happiness 
and togetherness with people who appreciate their own kind. I'll drink to that. I don't understand it, but I'll drink to it. Mm. You know, oh. Mm. Mm. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a married woman. I can respect that. <sighs> Maybe you should hold off giving her the flowers. Enough for one afternoon, thank you. Why don't we make love then? Bob Dub Martini. Don't you make yourself comfortable? Take something off. Okay? Can you see? Uh, no, you're in my way. Jennifer! Uh, Jennifer, uh, I think it's time to go. Are you serious? If she's screwing around, I want to see it. Ow. Mind if I ask why? I, uh... I think I lost a contact lens here somewhere. Sure is a hard bed. Yep, lovely. Where is the head I don't know? Hurry, little devil. 
It's not great, all right. <laughs> for the thrill, but it's time for me to go. You'll forget for now, Leslie Shaver. But you'll be back. Flea collar. Marble? What? Hey, what's wrong with you? Marble? It's me, Marble. What's wrong? Hi, honey. Sure missed you. Sure you did. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. What happened to your toe? I must have stubbed it. Stubbed it? Hmm. It looks like an animal bit it. Hmm? <laughs> so, how was your day shopping? Fine. Find anything you really needed? A few things. And how was your lunch? Fine. You just don't want to level with me, do you? What? I guess it's hard being a teenager. What's wrong with you? Wait, don't tell me. PMS. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you found out about mom, didn't you? I can't believe it. I'm so sorry, man. I asked for it. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have left her alone so much. Well, I never dreamed it would happen. For 15 years, I have waited for this moment. anything? 
Sure I did. That roast beef was scrumptious. up. You're having a nightmare. What's going on? You're having a nightmare. Oh. Oh. oh, I was having a nightmare. No, I said you are having a nightmare. Say were, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said were. Oh. Are you still dreaming? Oh, I were, but I'm not anymore. Oh. Forget me. Forget the reality. It's only a dream. Forget for now. I Get up, darling. You had a rough night. I'll fix my own breakfast. Mm hmm. That's right. You sleep in. I'll see you tonight. Mm
Oh! Huh? Wake up, Leslie. You're starting a nightmare. Oh, my God. I'm going back to bed. Hello? Leslie, it's Peggy. Don't forget, we have an appointment to do your hair at 2 o'clock tomorrow. I'm having a nightmare. Can I call you back? Sure thing. Hmm. Okay, now I'll wake up from this absurd dream and everything will be fine. Hmm. There, now I feel so much better. Finally decided to get up, huh? Jennifer, are you in this dream too? What? Hmm. you say you do. No, no, I said I gotta find Dennis. Dennis? Mm -hmm. So that's the guy's name. That's what guy's name? Mom, I saw you the other day. You see me every day. I saw you and Dennis having lunch at Francois's and then dessert at the pet store. What are you talking about? Come off it, Mom. Stacy and I both saw you. It's bad enough you have to cheat on Dad, but to lie about it? Jennifer, have you been having nightmares, too? What's wrong with your mouth? What's wrong with my mouth? Did he give you herpes? <sighs> shouldn't you be in school or something? It's the weekend, remember? Well, shouldn't you be phoning your boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend, Mom. Well, you should have a boyfriend. I think you should go find one. Saturdays and Sundays. God. I'm only going nuts. There's too much stress for kids. Just testing the weather. Beautiful day, huh? Hey, cut out, you old bastard! Shaber, the doctor will see you now. Good, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Shaber. Dr. Rodriguez, the cavity emptor at your service. Please uh, call me Dr. Ra. Oh, good, you found a sterile silk hand cloth. So, you're here for a drilling or a filling? Filing. Now, here's something you don't see every day. Yeah, well, I look out here. Oh. Are the sexes looking this I've ever seen? 
Oh, yeah. Style and distinction. Oh, I've uh, never seen anything like these costumes. My wife and God. You mean you not happy with this? If I were happy, would I be here? I'm happy and I'm here. I think you're making a terrible mistake. Well, fire! So how's your veal today? Mine veal is so tasty, so succulent, juicy, young, delicious. Such a veal you've never tasted. What about your leg of lamb? Oh, I have a leg of lamb so savory, so tender, you could plop. I only use the freshest, healthiest beef made from the underbellies of young virgin cows. I'll take a pound of hamburger. Two pounds and get a free matzah. One pound is plenty. Something I can um, get for you? Workshops? singing world. We don't see many of them nowadays, do we?
she's hiding the whole thing. on this while I go freshen up. She wants some dessert. Come up and see me, okay? Ralph? Yeah. Yeah. You sure got a hot mom. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. Mom? Huh? Is that you? No, it's the wolf man. Who do you think it is? <laughs> I never knew your mom had a sense of humor. She doesn't. Now that's the best makeup job I've ever seen. I've seen better. Nudist colony of the dead, 1958. Mrs. Shaver. It's me, Ralph. Go away, you little pervert! I'm here for my dessert. You want your dessert? Here!
thanks for coming, guys. Great party, Jen. Tell your mom she makes a great Willie Nelson. Mother belongs in a freak show. Blow in my ear, and I'll follow you anywhere. Um, I gotta be home by 11, say. But it's 12.15. Then I guess I really gotta hurry. Hey, wait up! On here, Mom. Nothing, nothing's going on now. Leave me alone. Oh, I have a terrible case of indigestion. Now, please go away. You look like Grizzly Adams. <sighs> That's not a costume, is it, Mom? Of course it's a costume. Mind your own business. Mom, you're a... What the hell are you? Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Dennis. I'm here to speak to you, Mother. She's, um, not herself tonight. You've done something to her, haven't you? Where do you think you're going? I'm not going to let a stranger in here. I don't care what you and my mom have going. You know, you've got a lot of nerve coming right to the house. I'll call the police if you don't get the hell out of here now. Oh. She's upstairs in her bedroom. Excuse me. in here, interrupt what might have been the most important phone call of my life and tell me that your mom's a werewolf? I mean, my mother's a real honest-to-goodness werewolf. Big deal. My mother's a cow. This is serious. That weird gypsy at the convention was right. I think my mom's that wild animal that's been attacking all those women. This is your way of testing how gullible I can be, right? You think I'm making this up? Jennifer, calm down. You're always reading this horror trash. Tell me what to do. The stuff's not meant to be taken seriously. It's make-believe, Jennifer. How do you stop a werewolf? You shoot it with a silver bullet. She's my mom. I don't want to kill her. What do you want to do, paper trainer? Thanks for your help. Ralphie? Wait, wait, Ralph! Ralph! Shit! Good evening, my love. You, you're... You're the man of my dreams. That's so flattering. Who are you? What's going on? I've come to set you free. You are becoming immortal. What the hell's happening to me? Oh, don't be afraid. I can show you how to survive as a werewolf. Oh, what wolf? Werewolf. Huh. And I need a werewife. Someone to keep my race alive. I need sons and 
daughters. Huh. And you, my love, are the one who is going to give them to me. <laughs> I suppose we're going to live in a warehouse. <laughs> At first, I just wanted to devour you, like the others. But then I saw you had a quality, an honesty that I wanted to preserve. Forever. 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 I know this is a tremendous shock to your system, but soon, very soon, you'll grow to accept it. Hi, honey, I'm home! Oh, my God, it's my husband! <sighs> Tomorrow night, I'll be back for you, and you'll be mine. Leslie! Oh, he won't accept you. Humans never do. Forget all that has happened. I will be back for you tomorrow night. Honey, are you ready for me yet? Honey! What's wrong with the lights? Oh. 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 What? Who needs lights anyway? Oh, honey, not tonight. I have a headache. Oh, come on, Leslie. You don't have to pretend with me. Listen, darling, I know that before last night you were very upset with me because I haven't been paying you a lot of attention. No, it wasn't. You've been wonderful. Now go to sleep. Oh, Leslie, I'm crazy about you. Jennifer, wait. Come in. I'll tell you everything I know about werewolves. Thank you. 
Morning, darling. <laughs> you look like hell. God, you wouldn't believe the weird dreams I've been having. I'm exhausted. Why don't you just stay in bed? I'll be home before you know it. Mm. Mm, can't get enough of me now, can you? Enough? Yeah. Leslie, one night you whet my appetite, the next you leave me hanging high and dry. You know how to drive a guy crazy. Woo! Leslie, you got me howling at the moon. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to you, darling, but you turned me into a new man. Mom, you're human. Yeah. Mom, we'll cure you. It won't be easy, but I think together we can beat this thing. What on earth are you talking about? Stacy, what's wrong with my daughter? She's freaked, Mrs. Shaber, but it's okay. She hasn't gotten violent yet. Hmm. No, Mom, stay here. I'm late for my hair appointment. You can change back at any time. Believe me, it's better to change at home than out there. Jennifer! Mom, I can't let you leave. You can't let me leave? Who's the mother around here anyway? Well, weird. You got to find yourself a boyfriend, both of you. She thinks I'm crazy. She may have a point. She looks pretty human to me, Jennifer. Of course she does. She changed back just like the gypsy said she would. Come on! Cut up with you, girl. Jesus, you look like hell. Well, I really appreciate you squeezing me in like this. Hell, say no more. I never turned down a challenge. <laughs> All right, hun, come with me. Oh, I'll even throw in a quick manicure. Thanks. <laughs> Little waxing wouldn't hurt either. Now, here, have a seat. I want you to relax, miss. You look tense to me. I'm going to give you one of my magic fingers shampoos. Mm. Okay, lean back here. Let's see. almost an hour. How long do we gotta watch? Stacy, if you leave me now, I will never speak to you again. It might almost be worth it. We be hair. How may I help you? Mm. Mrs. Finkelstein, what is it this time? Uh-huh. Well, hon, I'm sorry your hair fell out in the car, but we was very good bleach here. Now you have to trust me on that. kind of hormones you've been taking, girl, but this is going to be my ultimate challenge. Come with me. I think we've been here long enough. Don't you think if anything had happened, we'd have heard some sort of commotion by now? I guess you're right. <laughs> Get 
Give it time. It'll grow on you. Do you realize what this is going to do to your social life? <laughs> Come on. Come on. She could be dangerous. Let's go. That's Dennis. He's a friend. A friend? When did you get to meet him? Last night. Holy cow. Mesmerizing of the fuzz creatures. Werewolves have the power of hypnotizing people into believing that they're friends. He's the guy that did it to her. Nah, he's just a friend. No, he's the one that has to die. Look, shoot him with a silver bullet and your mom is cured. Mom? Mom? Let's go. My dear Leslie, a comfy. What are you looking for? We've got to protect ourselves. We've got these! Great. We'll paper cut them to death. Make sure he doesn't bite you. Look at this. You will soon forget about your old lifestyle as a human. I hope the tip is silver. It's steel. My dad's cheap. All our children will be beautiful, Miss Lee. You've got to destroy him before the moon set. Time's running out.
that's noise down there. Ooh, shoe. Ooh. Oh, shoe. Oh, that was good. Get that shoe. I want to smell that shoe. Please get that shoe. Hi. Hi, Dad. What's all the noise? Where's your mother? She's upstairs, but I don't think you should see her right now. Why? What's going on? That's a nice outfit. She's got someone upstairs with her, and he's not This could get kind of hairy. You're telling me. Ooh, 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 ooh. You wouldn't believe what those perverts are doing now. As they open the door, I'll break it in. Ooh. Good door. They're dressed in gorilla suits and they're rolling around the room having an orgy. <laughs> that does it. I'm calling the cops. All right, my boy, what is all this? Huh? Excuse me. Driving in your chili bean lunches, you're gonna kill me. Yeah. Don't start. You made Charlie. me drop my donut. Uh, you and your donuts. It was the last chocolate in Atlanta. Please chocolate work here. Down. Excuse me. Pardon, no, if you had to, if you had to pay for the donuts, right, you wouldn't fine. Steal my... I'll buy the donuts. You buy. Okay. Right. Okay. I thought Halloween was last night. Yeah. These folks are usually so quiet. About time you guys got here. This is not the behavior of good, decent, church-going Christians. You're the one who called. Who the hell else would I be? Mom? Did you see him? He's got my mom! Jen, be careful! What's going on? Get away from her! Ah! You're dead now, you son of a bitch! I hope this works! Ah! I did it! I did it! What was that? I did it! Stay here, sir. Why can't I go in? Because I said so. Ah! Ah! Uh, hurry up! Come on! All right, all right. What's the noise? Let's rack it up here. What's going on? There are two animals in my bedroom tearing it apart. Oh! Is he dead yet? Or is this who dead yet? No, he's rolling around on the floor. The police are here. Mom, where are you? What is it? Mrs. Shaver won't change back until he dies. And if he doesn't die before the moon sets, she's in deep shit. Let me smell your breath. Only if I can smell yours. <sighs> Jennifer, help me! The door! Hurry, please! That's my wife. That animal is your wife? Well, you have to get to know her. Mom. Mom. It's me, Jennifer. Please don't hurt me. Is there any blood in there? I'm your daughter, remember? Would you look at that thing? Holy cow! It's working.
What happened to this room? She's delirious. Why is there a dead animal on the floor? Why are the police here? What's the volume of the Caspian Sea? 88 billion cubic meters. You don't remember anything? I, I remember going to the beauty shop and falling asleep. And, and I remember Jennifer acting very strange. Now that this is over, would someone please explain to me what's going on? Me too. Me, me too. too. Go on, Jennifer. I'll tell you everything. Let's tell the world! This is Celia Selica, KSFB TV News, reporting live from the scene of one of the most bizarre and macabre stories in human history. Police were summoned by a neighbor who'd complained about a commotion coming from the residence hey. of hey. Howard and Leslie hey. Shaber. It's me, Malcolm Whoa. McAfee. Whoa. I'm the neighbor. I live right over there. Oh. <laughs> When police arrived on the scene, they discovered more than they had bargained for. What did you discover? More than we bargained for. Ah. <laughs> but authorities are still in question about the identity of the homicide victim. Man, this is great. <laughs> Hey, when you finish with it, can I have them? I want to make a rug. <laughs> and nothing will ever be the same in the lives of the Stacey Shaver family. Stacy Kuba! Stacy Kuba! Jennifer, would you still have accepted your mother if you couldn't have changed her back? I understand. You're too emotional to talk right now. Here is the alleged she-wolf. Or is it her wolf? Thanks. And here is the man married to the poor, tormented Mrs. Shaber, father of the terrified and distressed Jennifer Shaber. Tell me, Mr. Shaber, do you feel that this whole incident has bonded you closer to your wife or pulled you further apart? Well, I, well as uh... you can see, the whole family is mortified and speechless. All right, this whole lawn is under arrest. Move it back. Do Move not force me to draw my weapon. How the hell do they expect me to do an interview when no one has anything to say? I predicted this! Yes! Here's not a gypsy will tell all! Tomorrow I read for kings and presidents! Tonight I read for you! Yes! Special day! $35 today! The special! Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Come, come, I am getting the feeling. I am getting the feeling. Honey, I know I've been a real schmuck in the past. Sometimes. And, uh, Jerk. Yep. And, uh... Asshole. Jennifer, go to your room. And an asshole. Well, what I'm trying to say is... No more football on weekends? No more football. Mm -hmm. Except for maybe the Super Bowl, of course. And then maybe... Maybe. And then if you're busy, though. Mm -hmm. Hello? Jennifer, we got a big problem. What is it? Fangoria, issue number 43, October 1978. Unless a formal exorcism <sighs> is performed 
on the deceased werewolf. The one who killed it will transform within 24 hours of the slaying. Good night, Stacy. No, Jennifer! Jennifer! <sighs> Stacy, you gotta come over and bring issue 43. Hip Utopia. 